Sometimes a company will approach me wanting their product in one of my videos. Generally I ignore them, but this product was too fun to say no to. It's called an Algo Laser Delta. It's 22 watts and it can be classed as either a laser wood cutter or metal engraver. Luckily it's newbie friendly because I've never used one of these before and I started looking at all the things I could make online and I'm hooked. I can't wait. Jumping into the future, these are some of the things I made with it but let me take you right back to the start. This is what it looked like in the packaging and it came with a couple of quick start guides and also some materials to experiment with. I found the setup overall easy which was good since I've never assembled one before. The two areas I hesitated were the air nozzle which I found in a little hidden compartment and it kept talking about the tension, making the tension with the screws correct. As a first timer I don't really understand what a good tension was but it all worked out. One tip, the screw at the end, you just need to pull the little side lever towards you to screw it in and then it worked. It's apparently the world's first smart laser engraver with its own operating system and touch screen and you can engrave something straight away. It's got some files saved in the machine. So shall we just engrave something? And I should mention your laser comes with an air pump that seems pretty easy to connect. There you go, first engraving done. It's actually a PNG file, which I hadn't realized you could use. Then I tried it again at a larger size. There seems to be multiple ways to connect to the Algo laser. You can use their app, you can plug in with a USB drive, or you can connect your laptop to it, which is what I'm doing now. But let's try the next easy way with the memory stick. I jumped onto the FreePix website, found an image I liked, saved it as a PNG file, then loaded it onto the memory stick. I plugged it into the laser engraver, found the file, tweaked the settings and hit go. Well that actually turned out better than I expected. I kind of just left the machine to do all the settings and it's come out really fine. And then there seems to be two main softwares to use from your laptop to the laser or engraver. They seem to be Lightburn or Laser GRBL. These softwares work on a whole range of the laser cutters or engravers. With Lightburn it gives you a lot of control of the laser, what power and speed to use. So how can you get these files? There's quite a few options. 
You can just find a PNG somewhere to do an engraving. You can make the file in Lightburn. You can download them from a couple of sites for free. You can purchase it through Etsy. I've realized I can make it in Adobe Illustrator, which I know quite well, and then import it into Lightburn. So you've got quite a few options. I think now I'm going to try and print a business card on some of the metal samples they supplied. This is my two goes with the business card. I learnt a few things with this. Be careful with the cord at the top that got stuck and so it shifted the G into the K. I also had the card in the wrong location so it printed off the end. This was also printed thicker than this and I still don't think I've got it right so it really does require a few test runs to get it right. Okay, next I'm going to try printing a tree silhouette on vinyl. I learned today that I'm no good at putting vinyl on the wall. I completely destroyed two of those trees. But that's interesting. It's got, got me thinking about what else I could do. I think I'm going to try something harder this time. I'm going to try some plant steaks. And I think I'm going to try carrots first. The great thing about making this out of wood and engraved is the rain won't be able to wash away the wordings like if I just write on some plastic. <laughs> So yeah, let's give it a go. What I'm learning with this laser cutter is the importance of getting the settings right. This example, I think the engraving part is too deep and then the cutting line just skimmed the surface. So I'm not quite sure what I did. I'll give it another go. I just needed to check the speed and power settings. actually managed to achieve it. I feel like I haven't quite got the settings perfect but it did cut through and it's looking pretty cool. I think I'm going to try coaster now. That was two passes. I think I needed to do a third because I can't quite get these fiddly inner bits out. Cut through better then. Well, I'm slowly getting the hang of it. Took three passes and it cut nicely. Still a bit dark at the back. So I'm not a professional with this just yet. So after just a couple of days of experimenting with the Algo laser, I have been able to produce a few fun things. I think it would be pretty easy to, to keep progressing quickly. I'm looking forward to making some more things. I kind of want to do things like uh, the letterbox numbers and, you know, things around the land. Definitely more plant tags. I think I'm going to do them for all the herbs as well. So what do you think of it? What should I make next? And yeah, what would you do if, if you had a laser? <laughs>